Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Road to Glory. We're on to episode 12 as we look to reach our first Super Bowl as we have our conference round game in the playoffs to start this episode. So let's have a look at the team and then get into what's the biggest game of our season so far. So I made a couple of upgrades to the team. I got the Zach Martin 91 overall card and uh, put that into his power up. The same with Greg Olson. As you can see, Andrew Luck is now my quarterback. I picked up his Mutt Heroes, completing the set for him after completing all of the solo challenges for the Mutt Heroes uh, promotion. On defense, not a lot has changed. I picked up Telvin Smith because I had enough uh, trophies for season two to get his uh, Nat. 91 overall card so with him in the team it has made us somewhat stronger that is it in terms of changes to the team so let's get into our conference round game okay as you can see after a 16-0 win in the divisional round after our 14-7 fourth quarter comeback we have a conference round game with a chance to reach our first Super Bowl and it could actually be my first Super Bowl since actually starting to play Madden Ultimate Team. So let's have a look and see how we do. Okay, so the biggest game of our season, that is my team. And this is his team. So that's quite a nice looking team. Looks like he's got a strong defense with Deion Sanders and Ray Lewis. And of course, Cam Newton at quarterback. They go play action here on first down. I don't want a possession catch that down. We had a big gain on there if we had uh, Carried on. Uh, okay. They'll fake it. Now lock. It's another nice completion from Luck to Walker. And we are driving at this moment. The tight end position. Yeah, I think it is because it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. No, 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 no. Very, very bad throw. Mm. Should have waited. Philip. Damn it. Oh, Devlin. Do that. <laughs> Jesus, that was terrible. Fresh off the pick six, it's long. And there's Tyreek Hill on the completion. So it's another nice throw and catch. And there's Olsen on the cap. Wide open over the middle for another first down. And we're sacked. Not good. Ah. The first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. Flooring to make the stop before it turns into something big. Gotcha, bitch. And he's sacked by Casey Hayward there. That's third and 21. We've taken two. <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. That's a good play. I was. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button there, was it? Yeah, could have been picked, but uh, we got lucky. Great catch by Jerry Rice over the middle. How is he coming through unblocked like that? Like, oh, come off it. That's going to be another pick six. Fuck. Oh, hit as I throw. And that's always just up in the air. It's been terrible so far. Fuck. Again. Fuck's sake. How? 
How is he having that much fucking time to run? Try to shake off the interception from the last Oh come on, throw that better. You guys wide open. They'll fake the handoff. Now low. Blitz coming. Ah, uh, no run call. Oh fuck off. Seriously. And again, it didn't register my fucking punt. Fuck's sake. Another fucking touchdown. I don't understand how people get those sorts of blocks on those plays. Honestly. My team never fucking blocks. Christ, 30 nothing. We're only in the second quarter. Come on, Hill. Jesus. Now it's long. That one complete to Hill. And they get him down, but not before he takes Let's see if we can at least get a score or some points on the board before half time. Back to the air. Lock on second down. On target over the middle to Hill. And they'll get this. Oh, bloody hell. He uh, actually caught the ball. They try to get three before half. I didn't register my fucking A button again. Right. I'm... I'm going to concede the game because there's no way I'm coming back from 30 points down in the second half. Okay, so that is his team. And that is my team. So we have a favourable matchup, but I uh, don't know what the other team is going to be like in terms of their scheme. Why do I have this Mutt Monsters uniform on? Oh no, it's the, apparently the Caps Away shirt. Or jersey, should I say. Okay. Not bad. It'll pass to... They catch it, you tackle, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up good chunks of yardage. There we go, pick up the first down with... Ricky Williams, and that's what we need. We just need to get something going on this this drive, really. It's just been one of those one of those games, or one of those weeks where we just haven't been able to get anything to go. Oh, come on. Again. Out of the gun. Lock. And he'll check this one down to the corner. And he'll get it up to the I'll take the check down there because, well, it was close. I could throw in another pick six if I'd really wanted to. Looks like cover three from how he's positioning his guys. Or not. Ugh. There we go, we'll take that. It's a yard loss on the play. He's tackled short and he's going to go for it. Yeah. Ah. And they try to run it and we just stuff it. You know, that's Telvin Smith getting in through the line. Recognizing the play and breaking on it. Very short game, but I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just tee off on your quarterback, it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Ugh. This has been terrible. Defense just can't stop anything. There we go. Telvin Smith reads that one and says, No, 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 no. To throw on second, McNair. Uh, he's sacked by Jeff. That's what we wanted. We haven't had much pressure in two games, or a game and a bit we've played so far. He does kick the field goal. So we're down 3 0 with just over two minutes to go. Okay. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. 
One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. 66 yards. And guys get the quick strike. Fucking hell. That is, in this situation, they've had to punt it away. How? It's through my line straight away. How? What can't? Why can't my offensive line block them? What are they doing that is that good? What? Fucking bullshit. What the fuck? They'll run with a backup. This is Williams, and he's taken down inside the thirty. On second down, here's Barkley, and inside the trap. Fucking stupid. Thank you. Okay, Cat, we're gonna score a touchdown with the last play of the first half. Touchdown. At least we put some points on the board, like. That's the main thing. I didn't want to be shut out twice if I do lose twice. Talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half. Big prize, motherfucker. Big Peterson, that was a forced pass. And we take over on the 49 yard line. I love that my receivers block so well. There we go. To getting something done on the ground. He does because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, "Listen, I was the player." Made him choose between the two players, and I hit the guy that was deepest and open. Back to throw, love, and he checks this one down to Williams. A good display of power, but okay. After how this game's looking, pretty good at this point. Williams is in for a touchdown. There we go. So two Ricky Williams touchdowns on this game has brought us back from 10 nothing down to 4. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give him a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him. Here. That's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. Good hit from I think Telvin Smith there. Here's McNair. That's gonna be caught by Moss. Oh. The sticks. The handoff to Barkley. Oh, and now he bowls him over. There's the option going. There we go. Stop him there. Telvin Smith again, or is that Shazier this time? I'm not sure. Oh, it was Shazier getting to McNabb. If they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. There we go, third down. Sorry, fourth down. There we go, turned over. Incomplete. Back to throw. And he's sacked down at his four yard line as he's back to throw. Rolling to his right. He's gonna let it fly. Eric Berry knocks that free. That's what we wanted. That very nearly became a big game for them. On second down, Williams. And he'll push his way forward to If we do get a first down, then that'll be the game, but it's just about taking time off the clock right now. How is Barry Sanders being beaten like that? They'll look to throw. What's the flag for? Ah, oh, intentional grounding. Yeah, we'll take that. Is he a little bit dinged up here? Or is it just off 
just by a bit. Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Almost picked off, and there's one second to go. This is the game. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And he's sacked, and we win the game 14 10. So after being absolutely torn to shreds and exposed on both offense and defense, being 30 0 down at half time, I had to get out of that conference round game. I know that I need to improve big time if I'm going to compete in the playoffs and reach a Mutt Super Bowl. But the second game, we turned it around and actually played quite a lot better than what we had in the first game. Uh, obviously, we did win 14 10, but there was a point where I was ready to quit that game as well, especially after I. Uh, through that interception and bash my desk in frustration. Yeah. But Ricky Williams was an absolute monster on the ground, getting that 80-yard touchdown uh, at the end of the second quarter and then pounding it in early on in the third quarter, which actually sealed the game. We played a lot more compact in terms of our defense and we, we stopped them with everything that they did. So that is it for this episode, guys. As always, if you have any feedback for me, Please leave it in a comment below, along with any player suggestions that you have that I could add to my team. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including this Madam Road to Glory series, then please subscribe, and I will see you next time.